Yo guys, welcome back to the final episode of Anime Review for Season 1. Um, in this episode, we're going to be covering Death Note. Um, I might have a bit of a controversial opinion on Death Note, honestly. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first thing first thing I want to get out the get out the door, get out the gate before we start going forward with this is that I don't agree with Death Note being classified as a shonen anime. Um, I know it's like a shonen jump uh, manga series and a shonen jump anime. Uh, but why though? Like it barely has any action in it. Like I know Death Note is supposed to be. Well, all right, let's say Shonen uh, is supposed to be um, just tailored towards uh, young boys. Um, and when I think of Shonen, I think of an anime that has action and it has, like, fighting in it. Like, um, like uh, Hunter x Hunter, um, Naruto, MHA, even... Uh, I can't remember, I think, oh yeah, I guess Demon Slayer is a shonen as well, I mean, Demon Slayer on the shirt, but, uh, Death Note barely has any action in it whatsoever, um, so yeah, uh, I forget what the right terminology is, um, but there's like a, if I remember correctly, there's like a, a step up from shonen, uh, which is a little bit more mature, and I think that's where Death Note, uh, should, uh, lie, um, just because I still don't think it should be a shonen. uh, it just doesn't make sense to me, um, but yeah, um, that's just my thoughts on that part of it, um, yeah, so let's get into the actual review part, um, one thing that I did really like about this is the the shinigami and i'm pretty sure the shinigami are a, like an actual like uh japanese mythological uh creature um but they're pretty cool uh the idea behind them are pretty cool like uh kind of like the the grim reaper um they like carry you to the underworld or whatever or like reap your soul and then take you to the underworld um but yeah, and I also like uh, the show. Uh, it has a lot of like 200 IQ big brain moves. Like that's basically what the show is about. It's just two smart people outsmarting each other until one outsmarts each other to like until the other one dies. I guess. Um, I don't know if that was a bit of a spoiler there, but uh, yeah. And it was also very suspenseful. It definitely kept me on the edge of my seat um, uh, the entire time I was watching it, like all the way through. It was quite entertaining. Um, but yeah, it, honestly, so this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode uh, because I don't have much to talk about uh, with this. I think it might be a shorter episode. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, what I don't like about it, like, that's all I really liked about it, it has a, what, I tried to watch it a while before ago, um, I watched, when did I watch this, it was October, I guess, it was, like, September, actually, I watched Death Note, um, but I tried to watch it, like, a year or two ago, and what really threw me off about it for some reason was just, like, the vibe and, like, the art style, um, but then, uh, that's what threw me off about Attack on Titan at first, actually. Uh, I tried to watch that, like, four, four years ago, I want to say. And what just threw me off about it was the art style. Um, and I, I love uh, Attack on Titan. I recently uh, binge-watched it. Uh, I haven't started season four yet, but that's besides the point. Uh, the art style kind of threw me off at first um, with the show. And, uh, yeah, um... But it's it has a decent art style, I guess. Uh, but yeah, um, the plot is just kind of eh. Like the whole uh, Kira, I mean the, the whole like um, uh, White Yagami's ideology is just kind of eh. Like I don't really care. Um, I don't know. I just felt like as a whole, the show was very suspenseful. Suspenseful. 
um, and quite entertaining, but like it just ended and it was very unsatisfying. I know there's a movie which I don't, I haven't watched the movie, but I don't know what it's about. I don't know if it's like canon to the actual story or like I don't know what it's about really nor do I really care I probably won't check it out um but yeah didn't like the ending and didn't really like the plot uh I just felt like it was kind of dumb like I get like uh white is trying to kill all these bad guys and like rid the world of bad guys and that's like the whole thing is like where do you draw the line um, but I didn't like how he's just trying to be, like, a false god. Um, yeah, I wasn't really too keen on that. And, um, I did like L. I thought L was a cool character. And, uh, L's brother or whatever later on. I forget his name, but he was, he wasn't as cool as L. But he was just still a decent character as well. Um... And that was another confusing thing, was, like, the whole, um, uh, Elle's backstory, and that whole, like, part where it's, like, I don't know, just, like, his whole upbringing, I guess, and what exactly he is. I, I was a little confused about that, uh, but yeah, and that brings me to another thing, is Light Yagni, in my opinion, is not a good main character, um, yeah, he's just not a good main character like he he's just a dirtbag like he just kills off everybody and tricks people and so that he gets what he wants the whole way through um not a good main character at all and the last thing on here you know i have my notes here um and like i said before just unsatisfying ending uh I'm about to draw a spoiler here. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why you haven't seen it yet. It's been out for like 14 years. Um, but uh, if you guys want to uh, skip the spoiler part, uh, just you know, double tap on your screen if you're on um, if you're on mobile, or just skip ahead like 10 seconds or something. Uh, starting here, uh, spoiler here. Uh, he dies at the end, and. Uh, he doesn't accomplish anything like he just dies so um, yeah that's about it uh, for my um, for my review uh, honestly and that's what I'm saying a lot of people love Death Note which I guess I kind of understand why it's pretty good I mean it was definitely suspenseful and entertaining but it wasn't very good in the plot department and like I don't know, it was just very unsatisfying. Um, I'd probably... Hmm, I don't know what I would rate it exactly. Probably like a... Uh, I'd probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, a lot of people would rank it like 10 out of 10. Definitely not something that I would rank that high whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, this was the final episode for season one. And like I said in the last one, uh, which will be uploaded here in just a second. Um, I, um, I'll probably come out with the season two next weekend or so. Or either that or like Valentine's Day. I haven't really decided. Hold on just one second. All right. My pants got stuck on the chair. Um, but yeah. Uh, probably come out with season two, like next week or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, uh, I decided that I was gonna do uh, the next episode I upload. I'll upload it tomorrow because I don't have enough time right now. Um, I'll just do a recap of season one. Uh, and what I'm gonna do in this uh, next video is I'm gonna go through. Uh, quickly go through all of the different uh, episodes that we did and I'm gonna fix my rankings because I feel like I didn't score it I didn't each time I didn't score it super accurately um, so I'm just gonna give like a final score on each of the different episodes um, and yeah so it was just gonna be closing out season one um, this is the final episode but for like the review portion 
and yeah so this next uh there's tomorrow's video will just be like a we're done with season one and just like a recap uh but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed um have a great night uh if you guys are watching this tonight when it comes out which i doubt you guys are uh yeah so this has been another video of me uh i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one see ya